A few snapshots for the Nether update have come out, and that has my brain a whirl. And I have all this inspiration for stuff that could be added into the Nether update. And so I wanted to go through a list of stuff that I hope, I just hope, it's my wish list of things that gets added into the Nether update. So let's jump in. So here we are inside of Minecraft, and I've kind of created what I would like as the first thing in the Nether update, and that is is Piglin Cities. This Piglin City is being overrun by zombified pigmen. So here, let's just add just a few more. There we go. Boop, 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 boop. There we go. It's a whole city. It's a whole little environment here. So let's walk through what some of the things that I would hope to be in the city are. Obviously, homes that uh, the piglins live in. Maybe they live in more of like a shack-like environment. Maybe they're not super civilized. They have civilization, but they're not like they're more bar barbarian, which is the barter system kind of implies and so maybe they're in these like little lean-to type of situation also I would imagine that they would have some type of walls to their city so I've made some sort of derelict walls one here and one over here maybe this is fully encompassing the city to make sure that outsiders don't get in they tend to not like and trust other people so walls to their city would make a lot of sense and of course they are gold obsessed so some monuments to the gold that they have collected would definitely be a around the city. I have one sort of stockpile over here and more of a fancy monument that I've made right here. This would mean that it would actually be worth it for the players to go into these areas that have lots of piglins and mine the gold because we know that piglins get very upset when a player mines gold around them and also when they open chests around them and this chest is also full of gold. So it gives the player an incentive to actually head near some piglins and then do some of the behaviors that you know that they are not going to like. And then finally, I have made a little bit of a farm over here for cultivating a few of the fungi that they like. None of the stuff that they, they don't like, although the warped fungus, they're not like, they, they don't hate as much as the hoglins hate. So a city for this civilization of Piglin would be super fun to explore and to see. And also the loot that you might be able to get from it is also very, very exciting. And of course, by the way, these cities would spawn in the crimson forest or possibly in the nether wastes but the crimson forest makes a little bit more sense considering that that is where most of the piglins spawn the next thing that i would hope to be in the nether update happens to do with these guys maps this is an empty map right now and when i right click it you'll see what happens to maps in the nether currently nothing this is uh this is not so great what's that? i'm trying to move so that i could there we go, okay. You also see that the pointer points in random directions all the time, just like the compass does. But this map is useless to me, absolutely useless. So I wish that maps would become useful in the Nether update. There's a few things that would have to happen for this to be implemented. One, your, your map would have to take a slice of the Nether from where you are standing, because obviously we know that the Nether has a ceiling. We know that the nether is very three-dimensional so it would ha basically have to be where you're standing at that moment or you know give or take a few things and be able to map out where that is whenever maybe you generated the map for the first time also the fact that you have no idea which way you are pointing that would also have to get changed because a map really isn't all that useful if uh, you don't know where you're pointing now this whole idea of the map being a slice of the nether there is a really I feel like it's really cool idea because not only could you have multiple maps for the multiple layers of the nether you'd also be able to have multiple maps for multiple things that you built so let's say that you have a nether hub you could make a map of that nether hub based off of the different layers of the nether hub and then finally another reason why I would love that idea is because that means that you could go on top of the nether and build pixel art build a map build whatever you want to show up on that map and by build a map a lot of people will make simplified maps using big areas like maybe a nether hub map that includes very simple lines and and words that you just place blocks on the ground to create you'd be able to do that up on the top and you wouldn't require you to clear up a, a big area for you to make that it just be very simple so i love the idea of maps in the nether now in the nether just like with this map you have never really been able to tell which way is north south east or west if you 
have a compass, it will randomly point, and you can actually see it kind of mimics the map guy up there, but the compass will randomly point in whatever direction. There is no north or south in the nether, which is funny because the real compass in the overworld doesn't point north or south. It actually just points to your spawn point. So I feel like adding the functionality back to the compass would A, fix this map problem, and B, would be really, really nice. What if the compass pointed to the portal that you came out of last? That would make the compass an incredibly powerful tool in the nether. If you get lost and need to get back to your portal, you do know that you could use the crafting recipe for a compass, and then you'd be able to go back to your portal and get home to safety. I feel like the compass could be very, very, very powerful. So I feel like that should be implemented into the nether update. Next feature that I would love to see in the nether update is to do with water buckets. So water buckets, whenever you place them onto the ground, they don't actually place the water. They place this sort of steam particle effect instead and please calm down my friend i'm trying to record a video and you would lose the water if i wasn't in creative i wouldn't have the water anymore what i would really really like you'd be able to use the bucket as a one-time situation in order to do a very small amount of things one i feel like you should be able to put out the fire. So if you have fire here and you put down water, it seems like it should be able to put down the water. Or possibly if your character was on fire, you should be able just to click the block that you're standing on and all that steam would help put the fire out. I do understand that this is something, you know, you cannot get water in the nether in Minecraft. I'm not asking for water. I'm just asking for some type of functionality for this water. Maybe put out a few fires, which uh, would be, I think, very cool. Or maybe put out the player. This next addition is something that I am fairly certain will get added to the game. It just hasn't been implemented yet. And because it's kind of required if you're going to spend time in the nether, if you're really going to live in the nether. And that is to add functionality to beds so that you can actually actually use a bed in the nether. Currently, if you try to sleep on a bed, it will explode in a massive explosion causing fire as well. We do not want that. That is not what we want. I feel like the player should have a possibility to set their spawn in the nether so that when they respawn, they will respawn in the nether. I think that that would be really, really cool. It would also mean that beds don't explode, which is a really weird sort of thing so i wish that maybe even in the end maybe you could sleep and live in the end that would be great as well so let's add some functionality in these beds and stop putting tnt in our beds folks the next addition happens to do basically a lot of this is all centered around the fact that i want to live in the nether i want to be able to start a game make another portal as fast as possible jump into the nether and then never leave so that includes respawning and everything else so currently the only food source is the hoglins which i'm really really excited about the hoglins currently they're almost a little bit overpowered they may need to be nerfed especially their spawning rates and that sort of thing. But we have hoglins for pork chops. But the thing that you don't have is something that's been pretty crucial to the game of Minecraft, which is some type of crop that you can eat. So I would love it if there was some type of plant in the nether that was edible. And maybe it is and could be regrown is another big, big factor. I want to be able to have a farm in the nether. We already have soul soil. So it seems like you should be able to use that soil to plant and grow something. Now, obviously you're not going to be able to use water in order to get these crops to grow but maybe you have to use lava instead which would make your soul soil farm very very dangerous to be around if you have lava all over the place but i would love it if there was any type of edible food something that you could make and grow and farm in the nether and the last addition that i would love to see happens to do with mobs again and that is that i would love a new tameable mob currently there's a, a few different types of tameable mobs but i'm talking specifically about the tameable mobs that will follow you around wherever you go so that is currently cats 
dogs and parrots. I think I think I've remembered every one of those correctly. And dogs are obviously very useful because they can fight on your behalf. They will attack things that attack you or attack things that you have done some melee damage to. Cats are not all that useful, but cats in real life aren't nearly as useful as dogs. They're just more adorable than dogs. And they do scare away creepers, which is kind of a nice effect. Parrots can dance if you put a disc in a jukebox next to them. But I would love a new type of tameable animal that follows you around. It would be really awesome if that was something like the hoglin or something like that. A new animal. Not, I don't really need, I don't need a python or some, you know, some type of animal that already exists in the world. I'd be perfectly happy if it was a brand new type of animal. Like, you know, hoglins don't really exist. They're sort of like hogs, but not really. And also I have another interesting idea to that would be that you could, the big thing that would be able to be done with this type of animal is you could equip things to it. So let's say you equip a shulker box to this animal now it becomes a lot like chester from don't starve and it would be a moving inventory or maybe you could equip a sword or a bow or you know an axe and it would be able to do the things that you know it would have with it another like another idea is maybe this animal maybe this tameable animal is a baby hoglin and the moment it grows up it realizes it doesn't trust you anymore and it won't do these things so you have a hoglin that is a baby and the baby will fight with you will like carry stuff around until he grows up and then he doesn't care anymore about you and will just like leave you behind whatever he's an adult and even on top of that what if there was a way to keep it a baby so you have like almost like a tamagotchi sort of situation where you need to make sure to feed the baby hoglin like some type of food to keep it a baby. See, oh, look, we, we got a baby. See, and wasn't this guy, little cute little guy, you know, moving around with you? Don't hurt yourself, my friend. And like carrying a sword and like carrying some, some of your stuff. Wouldn't that be super fun? And you have to like make sure to feed it warped mushrooms so that it doesn't grow up too fast. And if you forget, then it grows up and then your little baby guy just goes on to the wild west yonder without you. That'd be a lot of fun. So there you go. That is my list, my wish list of things that I would love to be developed into the nether update obviously i have no idea what's going to be developed into the update these are all just speculation and wants and dreams and hopes and prayers thanks so much for watching this episode of omg craft i really do hope that you enjoyed it if you did please give this video a big old thumbs up also make sure you subscribe for future videos tips tricks tutorials and spotlights here on omg craft see you in the next one bye